Since so many of my viewers love boating under the influence investigations, I thought it would be interesting to follow a new department, the Arkansas Game and Fish Commission. And let me tell you guys something, they do it much different than Florida Fish and Wildlife. But I'll talk about that towards the end of the video. So let's start this video like we do all the others. On July 1st, 2023, while working a special operations checkpoint on Greer's Ferry Lake, Arkansas State Wardens came into contact with a pontoon boat with multiple passengers. Back off for just a little bit. Hold on, come on. I was to wait for the legs to go down a little bit. It is a little bit, especially when they come by. Pretty good. One second. Let me get the back of that. Hey guys, my name's Alfred Taylor. Mark Cook, I'm the Actually, it's the last jacket. Get your fire extinguisher boater edge. Uh, fire extinguisher. Right here. Yep, that's good. It's showing green. Color red. Where are you guys from? Mountain View. Okay. Mountain View. Yes, sir. Yeah, it's a big city. For sure. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Where do you guys put in it? Uh, you, got one here. Okay. you got one. Yes, and there's sir. One right there. Yes, sir. Fire extinguisher. Oh, they checked it already. Yes, sir. How did you? Throwable. Yes, sir. Throwable. Do we? Uh, in one of these. Right here. This is it. You don't have to get it out. Uh, you don't have to get it out, but here's the thing. You should be able to get it out. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it is For sure. Here's the thing, guys. Here's the thing. It's just like with your life jackets right. and everything else. Readily accessible. Yeah. Okay. Right. If something goes sour. Why don't you go ahead and pull that one out you know, and put I mean, it in the next one down? You know. <laughs> yeah. When, when things go sour, we want to try to, you know, we'll just put it in, in that, that next one. Easier to get to. Yeah. Just, no, just put it like underneath. All right. So who all who, who all's been drinking tonight? I have. You have. Yes, sir. Okay. How about you, sir? Yes, sir. No, no what do you got here? Well, I've Coffee had a couple here. drinks, that's but that's about it. That's hers. It's what? That's hers. <laughs> what, what, what have you drank? I've drank two beers, and that's it. How, how long? Uh, probably an hour ago. And that's it all day? Yes, sir. We've been yeah, up there at Party been. Cove, yeah. and they've been on the lily pad, and that's about it. <laughs> <laughs> on the babysitter? Yeah, yeah that's, that's it, right there. That's him today. Yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's her. her. That's her. Okay, okay, okay. Um, what's your name, sir? What do you do for a living? I do land clearing. Got one of them uh, forestry mulchers. Oh, skid skid loader or uh, skid steer? Yeah. yeah. Steer mulcher. You care for blowing a PBT? No. Just see where you're at. Yeah. Just see where y'all going? Uh, just Hill Creek. Just take a deep breath, blow until it hit it clicks. Keep going. Yeah, blow harder than that. Yeah, yeah blow hard. Blow or yeah. suck? Yeah, no, blow. Oh, well, hell, I was blocking. <laughs> now take a deep breath and blow. All right. Okay, that's good. That's good. You've had how much? Two beers. Same. One three. What's that mean? 0.08 DWI. Okay, you're well over that. Sure, you just had one, two beers. No, I had two. I promise you. What'd you have in them beers? <laughs> just two huh? fish. I promise you. Huh? <clears throat> Stick a life jacket on and come and take a couple other tests for us. Anybody else on here that's not been drinking? I have not drank very much at all. Not very much. Uh, two. I have to ask that because everybody's a little different. Maybe. 
three or four ounces of them out of it. Can you, can you grab a boat? Yes, I can drive a boat. Do you have boaters at? I do. Y'all's at Hill Creek, is that correct? Yes. Are you guys camping, camping or just? Yes, we're camping and we're docked. We have a marina. Or a so probably what I'm gonna do is an eye test. Okay. Um, wait, take those glasses. Off. Yeah, if you don't care. Um, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold my finger up and I want you to look at it with just your eyes. Okay. Um, don't move your head back and forth. Just just follow it with your eyes. Okay. Real simple. Okay. What are you looking for? Ready? How often do you drink alcohol? Not very often. No. And you, you sure you just had two? Yes, Because your, your eyes are showing me that, you know, you're probably over 0.08. And, and that's what I'm concerned with. Um, would you be willing to go to the bank with us and do some other, do a walk and turn test on the bank? And, um, I can. Yeah, and we'll, we'll just go from there and see where we're at. Energy drink. So, breakfast drink. We'll figure out something to do here and then we'll go from there. Oh, yeah. Do you have your phone? Yeah. Do you have a driver's license? Yes, sir. Okay. Can you grab those things or yeah. have these guys grab the. If we have to do that, we need to go and call them and tell them to wait. Everybody's on the well, it's just, I, he can go in my truck. That's fine. It'll, it'll kick us out. Well, okay. John and him should still be out there. I'm putting him with John. I'll just have to wait. Yeah, that's fine. We'll be done. Okay. Okay, you can just hang on to it. You have their phone number and their yeah. information. Yeah. What was your name again, young lady? I want you to start blowing hard. Don't back off on that. that okay? So when it shows you the How long has it been since your last drink? Probably at least a couple hours. Okay, so it wasn't. You didn't just have a sip right no. before we stopped. No. Oh, we left the cove up there, and it's been a while. We run some people back to the uh, Sugarloaf Marina up there, and then I ain't had a drink since before then. Okay. I guess I should have been driving up like you did. What we'll do is, uh, he's got his phone. Okay. We're going to go over here and do some more tests. Okay. He's got your number, and he'll call you. Okay. okay. And if not, then we'll bring it back. And we'll it. So, so y'all can go on. Y'all know where Hill Creek is from here? Yes. So I should have. Wait. What now? Probably not at this point. Because no, I don't think so. I think we're. Um, so uh, I would. Uh, you got her phone number, I'm sure. So uh, we will uh, let you guys go home and go back to camp. And he'll call you here in the Okay? It'll probably be 30 minutes. Okay? Any questions for us, guys? He's on over there. We will. I promise you, he'll be taken care of. All right. So what we're gonna do is um, just have you sit right where you're at. We're gonna drive over to the bank and then. Um, we're gonna go up to the top of the hill. There's a flat spot up here. I'm gonna have you um, give the opportunity to do two other tests and um, look at the, how that goes. And then after that, what we'll do is we'll go over to the sheriff's office and then take the actual breath test if, if you want to. You don't have to, but um, that's your opportunity to show that you're under .08. Okay. And if you um, have favorable results, I mean, results, I trust y'all's test, whatever you think you're at. Yeah. Um, let me ask you this. If, yes, I, if I don't pass your test, I understand y'all got to do your job. What, where am I going to go to jail? And um, what do I have to do from there? So what will happen is, I'll explain it to you when we're driving okay. up there, but um, we're gonna hop up. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna jump off. I really, I really am confident that I'm past your test, but if I don't, where will I go from here? Oh, uh, it'll be Clinton. Clinton? Yep.
All right, so the next two tests, what I'm going to have you do is, I'm going to, first one we're going to do is a, what's called a walk and turn test. Mm -hmm. And what I want you to do is um, come right, well, let's go right behind my truck here. We've actually got a line right there. And so if you'll stand right behind my truck, okay. just stand with this line. See this black line right here? Yes, sir. All right, so what I'm going to have you do is called a walk and turn test. For, for the remaining of the test, I'm going to explain the first part of it. And what I want you to do is take your um, right foot, put it right in front of your left foot, and then just stand with your hands down to your side. And then you can go ahead and do that right now on that line. And no, just just oh, just like I am. Yep, and put it, do it right on the line there. And then just keep your hands down to your side, and just remain that way while I'm um, explaining the test. What I'm gonna have you do is I'm gonna have you take nine heel to toe steps. And what that means is I want your foot to touch your toe in front of it. And um, I want you to count out loud while you're doing it. And I want you to make a turn just as I describe it. And so if you'll watch me, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna count it out loud. One, two three and I'm, this is going to ex, um, be just like this is going to be just like your ninth step and what I want you to do is take a series of small steps see I'm pivoting on the front of my foot turn around and I'm going to take nine steps back one two three the whole way until I get up to nine and I want you to count out loud keep your hands down at your side while you're doing it and um, if you step off the line or something just go ahead and resume the test unless I ask you to stop okay, okay. go ahead Okay, go ahead and turn around for me. And the next thing what I want you to do is go ahead and stand with your feet together, just like this, hands down at your side. And what I'm going to have you do, this is a balance test. I'm going to have you take either your right foot or left foot, either one you want, it's up to you. Do you have any problems with your knees or uh, anything? My ankle or my right foot, that's it. Okay, um, so it might be easier to do it with that foot and then have the other one balance it. But what I want you to do is stand with your uh, feet together, hands down to your side just like this. Take the foot of your choosing. I want you to hold it approximately six inches off the ground. Don't do it until I tell you to start. Um, approximately six inches off the ground and parallel to the ground so it's flat like that. Keep your hands down at your side and count out loud 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I ask you to stop. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Okay, begin when you're ready. 1,001. Keep your foot flat. 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009, 1,010, 1,011, 1,012, 1,013, 1,014, 1,015, 1016, 1017, 1018, 1019, 1020, 1021, 1023. Okay, let me put your foot back down. Alright, go ahead and sit in my passenger seat again. Okay, same thing as before, just blow like you're blowing up a balloon. How long was it you said before your last drink? A couple of hours. Okay. So you're still considerably over. Um, what am I at now? Do what? What am I at now? Uh, 123. So 1.08 is the legal limit. Step back out for me. What I've got to do is I've got to put you in handcuffs. Turn around for me. Put your hands behind your back just like that. I'm going to have to do that if I'm going to cooperate with you. I promise you I'm not going to win. Tell you what, um, I have to put handcuffs on you to bring you in the jail. I'll put them in front if you're not going to be a problem. I would appreciate that very okay. much. Um, so what we're going to do is I'm going to place you under arrest for boating under the influence. Do you understand that? Yes, sir. Okay. We'll put these handcuffs on you. And like I said, this is if you're willing to... I promise you, I'm not going to mess with you. Um, I'm a good guy. Well, I appreciate that. That makes life a lot easier for everybody. And i got to clean those up. Yeah, they're a little rusty, actually. You can tell they've been on a boat a time or two. Yeah, they have been. Okay, and if you'll have a seat in my front seat again. Go ahead and I've got to put a seat belt on you. Alright. Good. And being as you guys are cooperative, too, we're not going to book you into jail because normally you'd sit overnight in jail. Oh, I
appreciate that. Yeah. Okay, so let's talk about some of the big differences I noticed between Arkansas BOI investigations and Florida. First off, the demeanor of the Arkansas officers is wildly more friendly and less robotic than their brothers in Florida. During safety inspections, they allowed the occupants to actually help and find the required equipment. While in Florida, FWC officers generally force the captain to locate all of the equipment, all while looking for signs of impairment. These officers also carried a PBT on board their vessel and didn't waste any time using it. While FWC officers tend to hold off on any breath tests till after the captain had consented to taking SFSTs. Now, you've probably already noticed that Arkansas Game and Fish conducted a standing field sobriety test instead of the impossible seated field sobriety test. And if you were paying attention, you would saw that this particular man showed barely any signs of impairment, and he wasn't even given the required 15 minutes needed to adjust for the sea legs. Last thing, apparently BY laws in Arkansas aren't nearly as strict as they are in Florida as this man was released to his wife after being given his citation. Anyways, that's all for today's video. If you guys enjoyed my content, be sure to hit that like button. Oh, and if you're not already subscribed, I'd, I'd love to have you.